goalkeeping coach. Why is this a big deal? Because uh, and uh, this is a soap opera, and it's a soap opera with uh, with keepers. Uh, first of all, after the World Cup, Manuel Neuer, as we know, went for a ski trip, which went into maybe take off the whole his career. So people are now thinking, could he be finished? Uh, and then they were looking for a goalkeeper. They got Jan Sommer. From, from Gladbach, who is a great goalkeeper, 34, but still a good shoot stopper. They gave him a two and a half years deal, meaning that they're not 100% sure if Neuer come back Bayern either. So then Nübel, who is on the Bayern's book, he's playing in Monaco, he started uh, complaining about the goalkeeper, never got in touch with him. Then there were kind of rumors that uh, he was only taking care of Ulle Reich, uh, the second goalkeeper, and Manuel Neuer. And then I think the top of the iceberg was then that he was also accused for leaking information from the dressing room uh, and uh, going against Nagelmann. I I'm not sure what's fact and what is just spin from Bayern, but he was fired mm. today and he's been there for a long, long time. Tapalovic has been an institution there. And I mean, there are goalkeepers maybe in the studio can explain to us this relation ship zwischen, uh, zwischen, that's our German note, to, uh, between a, a goalkeeping coach and a keeper. And maybe in this case, uh, with Manuel Neuer and the goalkeeping coach, maybe now when it comes to an end of Manuel Neuer, it came too close for, for Bayern to stick with him. It's huge. I, I, I think, listen, it's, it's, it's a big deal from, from a goalkeeping perspective. You, especially when you've worked with one coach for as long as Manuel Neuer has, you develop that kind of relationship, that, that understanding. When you've had this success, developmentally, that, that Manuel Neuer has, and established yourself as one of the best in the world, um, you, you need that. You, you need that support. You need somebody who understands you on and off the field. And, um, and, and, and this is a blow. And, and maybe Manuel Neuer's injury has got something to do with it, as, as Jan is, 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 is suggesting. Um, but just to lose a long-standing coach who you've had success with, um, I, I find that surprising. Oh. And, and, yeah. Are you right? Well, what I really didn't need today was a goalie conversation, to be Oh, honest. well, there we go. Right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, let's get moving. I don't, want to, I don't want to hear what you've got to say. Exactly. Was, 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 Chat was talking there, no. and you couldn't have looked any more disinterested <laughs> in his explanation. Because <laughs> no. no, I'm ex <laughs> uh, Jan, I just want to talk about something else. It's how, I don't know how much you're on top of this. Uh, Sally Havlovich has come out and criticised Serge Gnabry for going to Paris. What's this about? Can you give us anything more on this? Well, this is a modern football dress room. Uh, Shaka, Craig and myself, we were happy if we could take the train to London, uh, wherever we, we played. Uh, but these guys and these modern players, when they have one day off, two days off, they will sit in the dressing room, they will call up the private jet and they will ask the teammates, Can you, will, you go, will you go to Paris or will you go wherever? And, uh, and Gnabry went to Paris on his day off. And uh, the German press, of course, reported it. And uh, Salah Hamidic is criticizing him for doing that. He should concentrate on his job. Gnabry doesn't have that great credit at Bayern being the full professional fitness guy like uh, a Joshua Kimmich, uh, for example. But I think this is um, a symbol of, of these new players. I, I just heard a story the other day about the English Premier League where the managers or the, the manager don't he doesn't dare to say that you will have a day off. He will say you will train on the Tuesday because he is afraid to say that on Sunday because on Monday then they will start doing all kind of organizing, going to south of France, going to Dubai, go with their private jets and so on. And, and then they, as, instead of that, just wait a couple of days and then say you will have tomorrow off and then they can't organize it. And, and I think that is a, it's a funny uh, kind of change in attitude from back in, in our days where... Well, a private jet, at least I couldn't afford that uh, at Swindon and Barnsley, Middlesbrough and Sheffield United. Uh, he was there for Fashion Week. Obviously, we saw too many in Paris as well for NBA was <laughs> criticised. Is that big a deal, get on a plane for your day off, go to... Well, I'm getting a bit sick of all this. I mean, too many the other day, Gnabry, there's, ugh, there's a list as long as your arm. But one of the things we hear from managers and, I suppose, players and coaches is... Tiredness from travel, right? And guess what? Yeah. It's not exactly around the corner, is it? Jumping on a plane and going to a different country. And, and so, I suppose you could throw that at players and say, look, look come on, 
Because, you know, you hear coaches when they've got games and they're coming back from a European game, be it a Champions League or whatever it is, saying, well, the travel's come out, it's not easy. So, as a player, you're just leaving yourself open to the coach saying, this was your day off and you're entitled, I suppose, to do as you please within reason, but this is not the most professional thing to do in terms of preparation. But as Jan said... What are you laughing at? I'm laughing at what you must have got off up to on your days off, suggesting that you just sat at home we watching played, tapes. Well, we played golf. But then I'm sure there was partying, you would go went out, you did what, what you, you would do. Yes, but that was... That, that was but a but that's OK, because you didn't get on a plane to do that, it? That was a different era. Right. I'm not, no, yeah. no, and I'm not... I'm not <laughs> listen, it's not OK. I, that that, that is not, was not the correct thing to do, but that was the generational thing that was done. Right. Generally. And as you grow up... And you watch others doing, but the game, but the game and the way that players and clubs and 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 all these athletes look after themselves, it's just different. And what's expected of them is different now. I mean, that what went on 20 years or so ago just would not be tolerated now. Right. Let's get back to goalies. No, uh, exactly. Listen, I, I I don't think it's a big deal. If if it's if it's Serge Gnabry's day off. I mean, I'm not sure how long how long the flight is from 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 Germany to France, but if it's his day off, I, I have no issue I'm with. I'm 45. I, I think the difference the it's difference a big deal. With, the difference with with, with true or many is he goes during during a game, right. and in that in that circumstance, I think if that's what you're doing, at least clear that with the club. But to to, to the point, Jan and Craig are making. While we didn't get onto private jets, we could jump in our cars and drive for two or three hours right. to go wherever else. And yeah. but, and, and, and that, wasn't, that wasn't perceived as being an issue. It, it's, no, but, uh, it's, it's, it's different now, but I, I, don't, I don't see it as, as, being, as being that, that different. Go on, yeah. I don't think it's a, uh, no, I don't think that it's a matter of what you do and not to, what you do. I mean, uh, my era, when I came to, to England, I mean, the days off were filled up with golf and a, and a couple of pub visits and the, and the wedding. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.